Good day, guys. Good day to you all. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Formula Sports. Another transfer related video, winter transfer related video involving a reggae boy. Now, this happened on February the 1st. Today, yeah, no lie, the, the last day, sorry, it happened on the last day of the transfer window. The date of this article, it was announced on, the, on February the 1st. But, you know, it's still, it, it's something that we have to talk about because it's a very important transfer in my humble opinion. I haven't done a lot of transfer videos or videos pertaining to transfers this window. I've only done one so far, but this is one that we need to talk about, see, because it's important. And that is uh, midfielder Jonathan Russell's move to Barnsley. See, it hasn't gotten a lot of attention. You know, well, I shouldn't say that still. You know, people have spoken about it, but, you know, it, it, it's a move that really deserves a video. Right, that is how important this move is, right? So this young man, you know, from from what has been reported, has signed up to play for the reggae boys, right? Um, we saw his name on a on a squad list that was announced from in last year, a reggae boy squad list, and you know, the whole documentation issue he was not able to feature seen, but yeah, if I'm not mistaken, that was the reason why he was not able to, to, to feature. Going off memory. I could be wrong, though, but going off memory, that was the reason why he did not feature. It doesn't matter, though. He has signed up from what credible sources are saying. See him? And uh, he's a very important player, in my humble estimation, to Jamaica's plans going forward. A very important player. See him? very important because of the position that he plays right he's a central midfielder and also a cdm seen and that is why this transfer move i have deemed it or i've termed it the most important reggae boy transfer this window now the thing about this young man is that he found himself in a perilous situation at Huddersfield Town in the English League Championship, where you know he found himself towards the last third of the season, last season, last campaign, you know, he got himself into the starting 11, you know, and really was playing well and doing stuff, good stuff for Huddersfield from what was being reported by many. I want to say this, I've never seen this player play. Seen, I've never, I've never seen him play, to be honest with you. Right. When I found out about this player being eligible to represent Jamaica, he has not featured for Huddersfield Town since. So, you know, from what is being reported, he did well last season and really helped Huddersfield Town, played a massive role in their playoff push, was a starter for them. This season, he has started a couple of games, but eventually fell out of favor and really found it going tough. Right fell off a farm from what many are reporting and you know whatever the reason is whether it's farm or falling out with manager or whatever the case is he was not playing he has not played for a while as a matter of fact he has not even been making match day squads for Huddersfield Town that's how bad it got seen now for those of you who don't know, he has made a transfer move to Barnsley in the English League One. Barnsley was in the championship last season, right? Went to the playoffs the season before, but got relegated last season down to League One. And he needs game time. It's just as simple as that. It's just as simple as that. The Jamaican national team has a shortage of deeper line midfielders. That's just facts. We don't have them in abundance, let alone quality. We damn sure don't have the quality. And for this player, how his game is described to me, even though I've never seen him play, to be honest with you, 
how his game is described to me and the mere fact that he can play both as a CDM and as a box-to-box -box central midfielder, meaning that he has the defensive qualities and also the attacking qualities, right, from what is being reported. Such a player is, 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 is crucial to our setup going forward. I mean, especially in the CDM position where, I mean, we seemingly have a curse in that position that says that Jamaica has been cursed for the last so many years with, 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 with the CDM position, right? I mean, the names that come to mind now, the players that we have available in that position, Kevin Stewart, people, we need to move on from Kevin Stewart. We need to move on from Kevin Stewart. That player is injured more than he is fit. That player is on the hospital ward more than he is on the training pitch and on the football pitch. We need to move away from Kevin Stewart. His scenario is an extreme one. It's an extreme scenario. We cannot rely on that player going forward. Even if he gets fit before Gold Cup, I humbly would not advise Jaime Earl Grimson to take a chance on this player and take him to the Gold Cup even though he's our best CDM. Because you're good to bring the youth to go to the World Cup and as you put him on the pitch within 15 minutes and get injured. Seeing Cousins, player that have a lot of time for as well, he has his injury issues as well from time to time, right? Who else? Desert at Orlando City. I mean, him not really getting a game time. Who else? Yo, I'm telling him Ray Lambert as a centre back in about. Yo, I don't have time for them Monday as I see them. You know. I rate him as a centre back, bro. Good centre back. See? So, the depth in quality and just availability of decent players in the CDM position is a major problem. I mean, I don't have to give you the rundown. I don't know this already. See? So this player is not only the youngest player that we currently have available to us in this position in terms of playing at a respected level or at a credible level, but from what is being said of him, even though I've not seen him play, right? And given what he has done at the level that he has done it at already from what is being reported. And the mere fact that, you know, he started, you know, about... The last third of the season, he started every game for Huddersfield Town, seeing in the runner, in the running to the, the, the playoffs and so forth and so forth. So if he's able, if he has the ability to cut it at that level, right, he's not only the youngest, right, but he's possibly our best hope going forward in this position, given his age and given the level that he has already proven himself at. Right, but he's a young player, only 22 years of age, you know, and for whatever reason, needs a fresh start. So hopefully, you know, this move to Barnsley can be that fresh start. Hopefully he can go to Barnsley and really get his career kick-started once more. You know, Barnsley are sixth in the League One table, you know, in playoff contention. So who knows? Barnsley could, could end up going up and he could be a championship player again next season. Let me read the article or the main important parts of the article for you guys. Quickly, John Russell signs for the Reds. Barnsley Football Club is pleased to announce the signing of John Russell from Huddersfield Town for an undisclosed fee. Subject to EFL approval, by the way, the article is on your screen. Um... The Chelsea youth product arrives at Oakwell on a three-and-a-half-year deal bolstering Michael Duff's midfield option. Standing at 6'4", the box-to-box -box midfielder can operate anywhere across the middle of the park and will begin to work immediately with the Reds as we approach the tail end of the current League One season, right? That paragraph alone tells me that he's a versatile and dynamic player. Um, the paragraph above says that amassing over 100 games in his career to date, the 22-year-old 
was an integral part of the Terrier Skybet Championship playoff campaign featuring in the final at Wembley, and that would have taken place last season. Russell spoke to Eiffel of Barnsley and expressed his excitement at moving to Oakwell. This is him being quoted and delighted, stated Russell. I'm happy that it's done and over the line. I'm really happy and grateful to be here. Barnsley CEO Khaled El Hamad commented on the Reds' final edition of the January transfer window. We are happy to welcome John to Oakwell. He said, he is a player with experience in the second and third tier of English football and provides additional options in our midfield. We look forward to welcoming John to the club and seeing him in action. Everyone at Oakwell wishes a warm welcome to John and the best luck during his time at the club. So basically, that's it. You know, we personally here at the Formula Sports will be monitoring the progress of this player. A very important player. It's important that this boy thrives. It's important that he strives. It's important for our national team going forward, right? He's one of the few realistic options that we have in that, that can play that CDM position. We need him to be fit, much fit, you know, playing games, garner, garnering experience, improving his game. He's a young professional scene. So we personally wish him all the best and hopefully he can go to Barnsley and get into that starting lineup. Do well and hopefully help Barnsley to playoff promotion. Hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Have you ever seen this player play? If you have, let me know in the comment section. Give me a, 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 a what what are your thoughts about this player's game and just any other comments about this particular topic concerning John Russell. Knock up like button, subscribe and share. Take care, stay safe and until next time.